Ooh, somebody stop me. Yo, what's going on, my VVOGs, my Omi homies, and everybody else on YouTube? It's your bromi, the gal, back at it again with another tutorial video. So, I am pretty active on the internet, whether it be Discord or Telegram or Twitter or YouTube or Spaces or Clubhouse, and it has come to my attention that not many people are aware of where to store NFTs or how to purchase them using wallets. So in this video, I'm going to quickly, or maybe not so quickly, explain how to do that with the Trust Wallet and the MetaMask Wallet. And that's pretty much gonna be the video. I just wanna give a slight introduction to how to go about doing that. And yeah, without further ado, let's make it do what it do all right so if you don't already have the trust wallet i'm sure most of you most of you do because that's probably where you're storing your omi like myself but if you don't you're going to want to go to your app store and download the trust wallet and it'll look like this right here so we are going to enter that right now i'm going to scan my fingerprint and here we are on the tokens page I have hidden my Omi uh, bags for obvious reasons, but um, as you can see, I have a little bit of Ethereum in the wallet and uh, a little bit of gold token. But anyway, we are here to talk about where to store your collectibles and how to purchase them on different uh, marketplaces. So if you'll notice up here, there's a tokens tab, a finance tab, and a collectibles tab. I already have um uh, a little bit of uh nfts stored on here so as you can see i have a uh, baby crypto llamas this is just a speculative buy i made speculative purchase i thought it was interesting and somebody a friend told me about it so i doubt I, I bought one um i have quite a few ikomi fams from kaki gaijin's art collection uh here's a few ogs collectibles i bought what i could you know you know, I, I would buy them all if I had the money, but, you know, I just bought what I could. And then I got the secret rare right here. We'll get into that later. And then um, we got the VV Punks right here. I got myself right here. And uh, here's the Team VV. One of ten from Kaki Gaijin as well. And here's the secret rare from Kaki Gaijin. But enough showing off my NFTs. Basically, this is where you store your NFTs. And, um... These are all ERC20 tokens, and what that means is they are native to the Ethereum network. So basically, all you have to do is send it to your Ethereum, send these NFTs to your Ethereum address on your trust wallet, and they'll go to your collectible section. So here's my Ethereum. If I tap that, and then I click receive, you'll get the QR code, and then you'll get the address, which you can copy down here, like so, and. Um, Whenever you're on like OpenSea or something, you type in that address right here, this Ethereum address, and send it to this address and it'll show up in your collectibles tab, like right there. So, now I'm going to show you guys how to purchase NFTs from a marketplace. So we're gonna go over here to the dApps section, from the wallet to the dApps section, and we're gonna go down so there's a lot of options here. They have a uh, DApps, which is a decentral decentralized app applications. You got DeFi, decentralized finance, and then you got your smart chains, yield farming. That's all um, experienced stuff right there. Exchanges, but we're gonna focus on the marketplaces. So there's tons of NFT marketplaces like Air NFTs, Rarible, Open Ocean, Ave, Ethereum Name Service. Shiftly, but we're gonna scroll over here and what we want to focus on today is open C So we're gonna click on that and Wait for it to load up and it's gonna take us directly to open C so Because we entered here through our trust wallet um, We don't need to log in or, any or anything. So we're already we're already uh, here So if, if we click on the wallet here You'll notice that it has the same amount of Ethereum that is in my trust wallet. That is because we are logged in with my trust wallet, as I have said. 
And uh, from here, you can add funds either by with a with a debit card or a credit card, or you can deposit from an exchange, and it'll just bring up your address at which you'll copy and send it to the address. But um, yeah, let's go back. So if we go to account, click on profile. You have the option to name your profile and add a profile picture if it'll load here. So as you can see, mine is the Gale. I got my pictures uploaded. And then it'll also, also show you your collection on your profile. So if you scroll down, you'll see Chad and his brother right there. And then we got me right here. Basically all my collectibles right there. So here we go. And then um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One thing I wanted to mention. You got Chad and, Car Chad and Carson here. I wonder if um, Kaki Gaijin got um, inspired by the Wonder Twins. If you guys remember the Super Friends back in the day when they used to be like Wonder Twin Powers Activate, it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Let me know in the comments if you guys thought the same thing. But yeah, anyway, let's uh, type in something in the search bar right here. Uh, we're going to type in Kaki Gaijin, actually. And I'll show you guys how to purchase an item. So let's wait for that to load up. All right, so now we're, now we're on Kaki Gaijin's uh, profile page or his... his um, yeah his page pretty much so we're gonna scroll down and we'll just focus on this um vv fam um collage here so if we wanted to purchase this we will click on it and it'll bring up the page right here so from this page you can check how many owners have it so let's click on the owners uh kaki gaijin and brock mcblockchain are the current owners there are 29 items left for purchase so um, you'll see that 26 people have viewed it. The current price is 0 0.02 ETH, and it'll show you the US dollar equivalent, which is $44.49. So if I wanted to buy one, I would just click buy now. And it'll bring up this screen and you would um, click this box. And if I had enough money, it would, uh, it would give me the checkout option, but I don't have enough money. So it wants me to add funds. But from here, um, once you check it out and buy it, it automatically goes to your collectible section that I showed you guys earlier. So that's basically how you buy an NFT. You search what you want, and if I click on Marketplace and all NFTs, it'll bring up an assortment of NFTs. But if you know what you're looking for specifically, you could just type that in. You know, they got Crypto, Kitty, Crypto Kitties, DGENs, they got the Bulls on the Block. They got so many, they got the me bits. Like anything you want is basically on OpenSea. And this is just one of many marketplaces. So this is one way you could use your trust wallet to buy other NFTs other than VV if you had the desire to do that. So let's move on to MetaMask. All right, so this should go fairly quickly because it's the same concept with the trust wallet. So if you don't have the MetaMask wallet already, you're going to want to go to your uh, app store and download the MetaMask wallet. And it looks like this right here. So we're going to click on that. We're going to wait for the screen to load up and we're probably going to have to load it. Log in with our fingerprint or um, pin number. So just log in with my fingerprint and it brings up your uh, account. So. At the top here, you, you'll see how much you have in here. I have four cents. Um, right under that, it'll give you your address. If you touch on that, it'll automatically copy it to your clipboard. Um, so right here, you see tokens, and then you see NFTs. So just like the Trust Wallet, there's a section for NFTs. And if we click on that, you'll see a couple of my Ethereum name services which are basically domain names where you can send crypto directly to these um, like for the gale.eth for example if you wanted to send me ethereum i would just tell you to send it to the gale.eth and my in the ethereum that you send to me will go to the address or the wallet that i have designated for this domain name so that's just one of many 
features of a domain name. You can add multiple cryptocurrencies to a domain name like Bitcoin, XRP, VeChain, whatever. And you can also create websites with domain names. So we're not going to get into that in this video, but yeah, something to look into if that interests you. And I locked up the vvverse.eth. Maybe somebody might want to buy that off me later at a later date. You know, that's that's another thing for the domain names. I have a video on that if you guys want to look into that. But anyway, I also have the gale.crypto that is from Unstoppable Domains. So I have multiple domain names. I just wanted to lock up my name. But anyway, um, yeah. So from here, if we go to the top left corner, you'll see the three menu dots. We're going to click on that and it's going to have we're going to click on the browser section after that, which is right here, browser. And that's going to take us directly to OpenSea.io. And just like um, with the Trust Wallet, if we go to the menu again over here, or sorry, if we go to this part right here, if we click on my wallet, it should have how much I had in my MetaMask wallet, which was about four or five cents. And you can see that right there. So let's go back. If we go to my account and my profile, we will see my, so this one's called the Metagale. I have a different name for this one. And then you'll see my Gulu here. So this is, an, I have this in my MetaMask wallet. Um, and the reason for that is because this is on the Polygon network. If you look in the bottom left corner right here, uh, it's on a Polygon, blockchain so I just clicked on it and it took me to the Gulu page right here but um, yeah let me go back one time my account my profile and let me scroll back down and you will see my other NFTs here and it's basically the same concept for the trust wallet going from here if you want to purchase something you, you type it in and um, and basically you just buy it with the Ethereum that you have in your wallet. Um, let me just type in a random word, a letter. So we'll just click on the first thing we see here. Wait for it to load up. And then we're gonna click on it. Wait for it to load up again. So this one is a uh, seven ETH, $16,000. Click buy now. We definitely don't have that in this wallet, but it's the same process, just a different wallet. So I hope that I was able to explain better, or I hope I was able to like, you know, show you guys something you didn't know. If you didn't know it, if you did know it, then cool. You're ahead of the game. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. So that's the video, my friends. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. If you uh, learn something, feel free to drop a like. If you have a trust wallet, feel free to drop a like. If you love Vivi, feel free to drop a like. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to make sure that most of my audience knew how to uh, use the trust wallet for NFTs and MetaMask for NFTs because we are slowly but surely on our way to the Ethereum network. Um, VV that is the Omi token and we should be prepared before we arrive so that we're not scrambling on what to do um, little by little we can take our time learning stuff like this and so we can be ready to um, sell and buy NFTs on the open sea you know we are expanding we won't just be on VV when that happens so um, yeah, that's what this video is for, just to get an introduction, a brief introduction into all of that. You can always do further research on your own, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just something like a crypto veteran sharing his opinions. I did not go to college for any of this. I, you know, I just live on YouTube, so I, I'm pretty knowledgeable about some of these things. And I'm just relaying that info to you guys. So... Once again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video, hopefully. Until then, peace out, stay cool, and hodl strong. Later.